Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you are new here, I hope you choose to stay a while. Today in the mail, we got Ipsy. Yay! <laughs> Alright, so this is our March Ipsy bag. There are add-ons. I have opened up to make sure the add-ons are there. Since the last time I ordered add-ons, they did not come. So, to start, we will go over what we got in last month's Ipsy, so February. And I'll tell you what I think about the items, and then we'll move on and get that bag opened. So the first product we're going to talk about is the powder brush by Beauty Crop. I definitely use this brush. I enjoy it. It's soft. It definitely needs to be cleaned, but it, yeah, I definitely enjoy this brush, and it is so very pretty with the baby blue and the baby pink, and yeah, I like it. <coughs> Then we got the Feel Harmony Rose Peel Facial Mask. So this guy here. I really enjoy this. I've almost used it up. It's, I love the smell of roses. I know a lot of people out there hate the smell of roses. I really like it. I find this really nice on my skin. I really enjoy the feel of it after I'm done. Then we have the It Cosmetics Primer. It's a primer. Is fine. Um, yeah, I don't have anything good or bad to say about it. It is what it is. Then we have Colored Rain's Liquid Lip in 24-7. I don't like it. It looks beautiful on as long as you're not getting really up close and then you see all the little lines and cracks in the lip. Uh, and I find it drying. So I am not a fan. I will wear it if I'm going out to do filming, but other than that, I'm probably not going to wear it just because. And the last thing I got last month was the Balm Pedal to the Metal Va Va Vroom uh, Cream Eyeshadow. So that's this guy here. I haven't really used it much. I don't find it gives me a lot of payout for color it's just I wish I hadn't swatched it and played with it at all because then I could have given it put it in a giveaway for you guys but I did so it is what it is so that was February's box let's get into March so I do have some add-ons like I said so we're gonna take those out and lots of stuff came outside of the bag this month so I'm going to put those to the side and grab out the bag. So the pictures of this bag, I wasn't keen on them. I didn't like the way these spiky, um, they're not even spikes, just the little ball bearing thingies on the outside look. I'm not a big green fan, but it's actually not nearly as bad in person. I do like the embossing on the back of 100th uh, glam bags. I think that's really kind of cute. It doesn't feel cheap, but it's just not my cup of tea. I liked last month's bag much better. So we're just going to pull out the card. And it celebrate you March 2020, which we did because it was my birthday. So I did celebrate me, which was nice. And I thankfully got all my celebrations in before everything basically closed because of COVID-19. So thank goodness my birthday is earlier in the month instead of later in the month or it would have been a very different birthday celebration this year. Alright, so as you guys know, we got six items in these bags, and we also were able to purchase add-ons starting at $1. So I did purchase two of the $3 add-ons, so I ended up spending 4 bucks American on these. So let's look at those first. <clears throat> so I got the Complex Cultures eyeshadow brush. I believe it was an eyeshadow brush because I keep seeing you guys getting them and they look so nice. I do like the packaging that it's come in, even though it's being a pain in the butt to get it out. There we go. So that is nice and heavy. I actually really like that. 
This feels so pretty. I just dropped the bag. The brush itself is very, very soft. I like that. I think I'll definitely use that lots. Alrighty. Then next for my other add-on, I did the bubble tea masks. So you got two masks and we'll give them a try. They feel like there's lots of excess serum in there. I have seen a lot of people what they'll do is they'll use the mask and then close up the bag that came in and then just scoop up some of the excess uh, serums, essence, whatever you want to call it and use it on their face at another time. So I may give that a try just to stretch it a little bit longer but for four dollars technically three bucks not bad and the brush itself was a dollar so two bucks each I that sounds good to me so I also got another brush in my ipsy bag this month and this is the uh, I'm not going to try the beauty brush it is elite B203 concealer brush so it's a nice packed in there brush. It's still soft. It's not going to irritate under my eyes because that's mostly where I do concealer. So I think that will be nice. It's very soft. So I like that. So, so far so good. Next let's get into the things that are in my bag. So we got the Generation uh, Clay Ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask. Now if you guys watch top box videos, which you'll know I didn't have one this month because I got rid of it, uh, this was actually in people's top box. So I'm happy that I wasn't getting both. So I'll definitely give that a try. Let's see if it's safety sealed. It is. So that's awesome. Alrighty, next up is the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer. So I got lots of primers. Ooh, the sun is not giving you a decent look at that. Just the lighting. Let's see if we are, we are, we're also safety sealed. So all these products except for my brush were our deluxe sizes and our little cards that we get with all the information on them now does have the price of the full size item and I'm just not going to do the math on the go here but let's see so this is 10 mils actually that's not going to be too bad for a math um, the full size product is 30 mils at $32 so at 10 mils you're looking at about 10 bucks worth for this sample I pay $20 Canadian for Ipsy plus whatever add-ons I choose for the month. So to me, I'm good. I'm happy with the price points. Then we have Honey, Hey Honey, Relax Palette. Um, yes, it's a Calms Redness and Upset Skin Moisturizer. So that's this guy here. And this one is $42 for a 70 ml container and this is 15 mils. So what are we looking at? About maybe about 10 bucks again? Ish? No, that's not right. That's too high. Anyhow, you guys are probably better at the math on the fly than I am. So that's fine. But that's that. Let's open her up and see if we are safety sealed. We are safety sealed. So there we go with that. Next up, we're going to pull out the Loyetta London Shimmer Sequin uh, Squad. Now that's interesting. This box actually on the back says not for resale. And look how little this is. This is the size of the box, right guys? And there's the inside of the box of product is just this here so that's not terribly impressive to me 
but it does come with that it is metallic on the bottom here which means it would fit into one of those uh, <sighs> pans that are magnetic so you can do that here's the highlighter this is looking a little dark for me for my skin but we'll see there it is on my finger let's put that on my wrist yeah it might be a little bit dark but it definitely has some shimmer I don't know if you can see that don't think you can but we'll try it we'll definitely give it a go it might work better for me as an eyeshadow but we will see I am still in the market for a really good highlighter and I did drop the bag again but there is only one product left in here and this is something I actually chose I try not to choose too often because I want to give Ipsy the opportunity to pick the products for me so we can see how it goes and this is the awake lip therapy mask that's just how it looks on the top I chose this because it being winter and stuff I thought it might be a nice option it does not have a smell let's see it's very soft hmm now it does have a smell not sure what it smells like though. Has anyone else gotten this product? What did you guys think it smelled like? Feels really nice though. So I should have done that on perfectly clean lips but you know it happens. So what does it say? After a long winter our lips really need some TLC to heal, nourish and soften them. Head to bed wearing an overnight lip mask. Well it's not really nighttime. <clears throat> is packed with antioxidants, rich plant oils like argin, hip, rose hip, and olive that hydrate and smooth your lips, plus a fruity scent is so refreshing. Tip, keep on your nightstand, keep this mask on your nightstand and slather on it onto clean lips, then get some beauty rest. So it's interesting, it's definitely interesting. I'll see how it goes if I remember to use it. That's always the big issue for me. But that is what I got in my Epsi bag. So to recap, we got the lip mask, the primer, the clay mask, one, two, three, four, the honey hydrator, and then the brush. So one, two, three, four, five. There should be one more thing that I am forgetting. Ah, the highlighter. The highlighter. So the six items plus the extra brush as things fall. The extra brush and the two sheet masks. I think that's pretty good for, we'll call it $26 Canadian all in. Um, I wish they gave us a price point on the add-on so I would know how much the brush would be or and a little bit about it and the tea masks. I wish I knew how much they would normally be but I don't so whatever. I guess I could look it up and find it but I'm not really that concerned about it. So March's bag I think worked out well. There's a few products here that I'm like eh about like the highlighter and I feel like I've gotten a lot of primers lately so you know it'll be nice to test out a new primer but it's not something that I feel I need right at this point so I may end up going ahead and changing up my list a little bit in my profile. Uh, other than that I think they did really good. Uh, very skincare heavy. I do like getting the makeup products, but we'll see what happens with next month's. And as that is, that's what I have for you guys. Tell me, did you enjoy your Ipsy bag this month? Do you get Ipsy? Were we twins? Did you wish you gotten some of the products that I got? Are you happy you didn't? 
uh, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a beautiful little thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. It means the world to me. We are so close to 250 subscribers, guys. Let's get it there. And make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications of all upcoming videos. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video.